What's happening, everybody? I've got your free pick for this Christmas Eve's Hawaii Bowl. Memphis is taking on Hawaii, and I've got your free pick coming right up. I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and we are so proud to announce we're now sponsored by Caesars Sportsbook. So definitely check out the link that's located in the description of this video. Click on it, and they will match the first bet that you make with Caesars Sportsbook up to $1,001. It's a fantastic promotion. Get on board. All right, time for the goods. I've got Nick Parsons here from the Insiders Room to give us a play on the Hawaii Bowl. What's happening, Nick? Yeah, the easy post Hawaii Bowl on Christmas Eve. I'm looking forward to uh, breaking this one down with you, Ali. I'm, I'm with this. I like Christmas Eve and Hawaii combined together. That makes sense in my head. It does. Yes. Um, so we've got the Memphis Tigers minus eight and a half. The total's 55 and a half. Where are we going with this one? Well, for the eighth consecutive season, Memphis is going to be is bowl eligible. Uh, the Tigers, I mean, they're the poster team for conference re realignment. Uh, they moved from the Conference USA to the AAC to play tougher competition. And, you know, they've proven that they belong uh, with a bowl berth in every year following following the move. Uh, but Memphis did go six and six this season. Uh, they started three and one before struggling during league play. Uh, the offense was definitely there. They averaged 435 yards per game and 30.1 points per game. Uh, but as good as that offense could be, it was the defense, which was basically equally as bad. Memphis ranked 92nd in points per game allowed. Now, on the other side of the field, Hawaii, it has key offensive players uh, in the transfer portal. And it's also a poor defensive team. And that's why the Tigers are favored here. Uh, Memphis, I mean, I... It was only just one and four on the road alley. So, uh, and this bowl game is more like a true road game. Uh, Hawaii, it was able to squeak into the bowl game. It won its final two games of the year. Uh, but the Rainbow Roar uh, Warriors here, they're going to be without their two top offensive players that have got them to this point. Uh, quarterback Shevin Cadero and running back Day Day Hunter, they're both in the transfer portal. So, uh, uh, Braden Shager, he took snaps when Cordero missed time this year. But he really struggled to produce. Uh, Hawaii, it was a top 40 passing offense during the regular season uh, with its starting quarterback. Now Memphis, it's not even that great against the pass. But I just don't expect Hawaii to, uh, you know, have his, the same sort of caliber of success here, Ali, without its start, starting quarterback. And so for me, that's the difference here. Uh, the Tigers' defense, they catch a break here facing Hawaii's backup quarterback. Uh, and I think Memphis, the offense is going to take care of the rest. So that's my call in the Hawaii Bowl this year, Ali. I'm going to lay the points here, take advantage of Hawaii's missing those key offensive players and expect sort of a blowout here once it's all said and done. All right. That all makes sense to me. Nick, what do you have lined up for the rest of the week over at the Insiders Room? I know NHL has been canceled. NBA has been a little bit wonky. This is a really great time for our viewers to get on board with a pro if they haven't already purchased premium picks. What kind of picks do you have lined up over at the site? Well, listen, we're talking about a bowl game here, and we've just got off to a great start to the bowl games. We're three and one. That's 75 percent. And so we'll look to keep that rolling. Uh, we're going to be playing the bowl games almost each and every day possible, multiple games. So keep your eyes open for that over at the Insiders Room at picksandparlays.net. Beautiful. That's where you find the good stuff at picksandparlays.net. Don't forget to use the promo code BOWL, B-O-W-L, saves 20% off of all the Insiders Room's premium plays. And until then, let's lay the eight and a half with Memphis on Christmas Eve.